Managed in-context design allows parts to be created or edited in the context of an assembly. Managed in-context design is useful when needing to define geometric or spatial relationships between parts in different part studios, or when designing around the motion of an assembly is critical. When editing or creating parts in context, Onshape captures a snapshot of the assembly including the position, orientation, and hide show state of all components in the assembly at that moment. A part studio is opened or created and the assembly displays as a ghosted image to design around. The ghosted snapshot of the assembly can be referenced as if it was really contained in the part studio. Sketches can be created on the faces of parts, edges can be referenced with features like use, and even referenced for end types in a feature like extrude. The key to remember is part modeling in Onshape is always done in a part studio, even when referencing an assembly, and this workflow brings the assembly to the part studio to be referenced. The location of the assembly in relation to in-context design components can be within the same document or through the use of linked documents. Both workflows are covered in the following lessons. This approach of capturing the position and orientation of parts in the assembly and working around them in the part studio is far superior to traditional CAD systems and it offers many unique advantages. The first and most important benefit is stability. In Onshape, an in-context design updates in a predictable way that the user controls. This means simple things like motion in an assembly does not cause failure to in-context features. Another big advantage of this approach is multiple contexts can be referenced in the same part studio. This is especially important for designing in-context features in moving parts. Multiple positions of the assembly can be captured with different contexts to create the needed in-context features for each position.